What's going on guys? It's Alex from Tech Harris and we're taking a look at the Buckle and Seam Sierra 15 inch messenger bag. Straight ahead. Welcome back guys, it's Alex again and we are taking a look at the Buckle and Seam Sierra messenger bag and hopefully I can get this on camera for you guys well enough to demonstrate uh, and take a look at the bag. First let me go over what uh, um, this this bag is made of. It's uh, made of uh, tanned cow leather well vegetable tanned cow leather whatever that means all I know is it is leather and it's really really nice um, when you first get the bag you're going to uh, feel it's, it's really stiff it's a stiff leather but you know it takes time for leather to cure over time and you'll, you'll get a nice patina on it and uh, you'll have to make sure you take care of of the leather otherwise it you know it could end up being bad for you um, not for you but you know your, your bags not gonna look so great if you don't take care of the leather um, so right now this is still really kinda stiff I've, only, I've used it a few times um, so it's gonna take some time to get that that nice patina on it um, overall uh, Everything is solid on this bag. Uh, the leather is just really high quality. Um, you can smell it. So as soon as you open that box, you know that there's leather in there. Um, all the buckles are high quality. Uh, I mean, they are solid, rock solid, heavy duty. Nothing is coming off this bag. I mean, everything is riveted on there really nice. And we'll try to... Uh, try to show that as we go here right up here the handle is really nice it's a nice heavy duty sturdy handle with nice metal rivets there all the stitching along this bag is just beautiful it's just really well made the uh, back of the bag has a nice stitching all along double stitching here and I mean if you look closely along the stitching you'll really notice that there's no flaws where like stitching's coming out and a lot of other bags or other uh, clothing items you'll see stitching isn't quite solid on it. This one is, is great. It's got some good solid stitching. Well, we're going to start with the back uh, of the bag right here. This is the back storage pouch and, and here you can you have room in there to store uh, papers or other documents that you might want to put in there and uh, there's also a leather strap inside to kind of keep things in you know kind of clamp down if you have a lot going on in there and uh, it'll kind of hold things together so it's really nice and you can already see the the material on the inside that you can choose when you order the bag so you have several different options to choose from um, we're going to go inside the bag in just a second. But I want to show you the strap. The strap that comes with it. And I took it off because I didn't want to be putzing around with the strap all over my desk. So here's your strap. And this is all leather as well. And it's still really, really... I mean, you can see here where the the leather is going to start cracking at some point and, and, and give a nice patina at some point. Uh, the longer you have it, the, the longer it'll, uh, the better it'll, it'll look as long as you care for it. And again, here's one of the buckles and it's really heavy duty, really sturdy, really nice strap. Um, there's a little bit of padding here and that's for your shoulder when you, when you have it over your shoulder. Um, it's not a lot of padding, but it's, 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 it's sufficient. Um, you know it's a day bag so it's you're not going to be traveling the world with this um i mean some people might but it's you know it, it's a business bag so i think that most people are going to use this to go to work to and from work every day so um that's the strap we're going to jump inside the bag now again you have that beautiful material in here and it's all stitched up nice you know there's no there's no uh no holes or indication that it's coming apart um, and we'll start at the front right up here 
Hopefully you can see that. We'll pull it up a little bit more here. I'm going to push it back, actually. I'm going to move the camera a little bit for you so you can get a little bit better shot. And then uh, I'll show you a few things in the inside here. Right in the inside here, you'll see three loops over there to the left, and that's for pen storage. And I have a couple pens here. We can demonstrate that. So, um, you know, they just go right in like that. Um, I'm not a big user of pens anymore. Every once in a while, I'll need one. But, it, you know, it's, it's good to have one. Um, so you have pen storage here. Uh, right in here you have uh, business card storage. And you can put, um, you know, your business cards in there. Or your license or anything else that, that you might, uh, might want to slip in there. It's real snug. It's still, like I said, very, very uh, stiff. So it'll, it needs a little time to break in. So there's that. I'll take this out of here because I don't want to get free advertising up. Um, and this is the phone pouch right here. And then here you can put a phone. I've, I've been able to get the iPhone 10 with the uh, slim case in there. That's not a problem. Um, I think the iPhone 8 Plus is probably going to have an issue even without a case. So that's pretty big. Uh, this is the Mate 10 Pro. Um, and that's with, with without a case. And it fits in there. So, it, you know, it's going to depend on the size of your smartphone. But it, it's, it's a decent size phone pouch. But it's not going to fit every phone that you have and then you go further in right down in there and you have some room for documents or other papers you know i got a few papers here you can just you know, slip stuff in there whatever you you know everybody's different on how they store stuff um and then uh in the back here let me move these pens out of the way goes out of the way back here you got another zipper with more storage and it doesn't go completely all the way down, but it's a good spot to put, you know, other items that you might want to throw in there. Let's say a document there, and you're good to go. And then, of course, you have the uh, the middle pouch, and this is a much more substantial pouch. Uh, you can put things in. I know this is where I would put my my laptop cable, and this is for the uh, Lenovo X1 Carbon uh, ThinkPad. You know, it fits nice in there. No worries. And you put other things in there. Maybe uh, even a water bottle or something else or whatever you feel you need to put in there. And the last pouch on the back, that's where you're going to have... This is padded here. A little more padding here and on the back. Is, uh, that's for your laptops. Um, you should be able to fit uh, a modern 15-inch laptop in here with no problem. MacBook Pro and other such uh, laptops the 14 inch Lenovo X1 carbon ThinkPad fits in there just fine and you know there you go it really is an, a really nice bag and we did a, uh, a write-up on this bag um, on the company one, uh, Buckle and Seam and they uh, support a cause called One Bag One Child um, I'll put the link down below. You should check it out. I'll put the link to the full review, written review, on this bag below. And uh, that's it. That is the Buckland Seam Sierra 15-inch. Have a good one.